Hello there, dear people. The last few days I've been um, traveling around with Christina von Dreyen. You might know her. She's a young Swiss woman who, when she was a very small child, already knew that she was here on Earth to help change the world, to help raise the frequency. And um, it's very interesting that when you travel around with her and do sessions and seminars, that you are being used like a lightning rod. It's to sort of deflect the, um, yeah, all the projections that the person who is giving a lecture or a talk is getting from the audience and it's sort of deflected to the person sitting next to her. And uh, in my yogi years, I've uh, lived a yogi life for 14 years. I was often also the sort of the second man um, sitting with yogis who traveled around the world. And I've noticed many times that the yogi who was giving the lecture was fine. And me <laughs> sitting next to that person was like really afterwards like zonked, you know, like, oh man. And uh, it's a very interesting dynamic. That's why yogis always travel in pairs. There's always one person who gets the full load and the other person is just sort of, you know, doing their thing. And I remember an interesting uh, scene once that I was traveling with the yogi and we were giving um, a session in a sort of a spa kind of situation where people were detoxing. And when people are detoxing, you know that a lot of stuff comes up. And so that evening I had a particularly hard time because all the stuff that was coming up was sort of directed towards me. So on the way back, I was sitting behind the wheel driving the yogi home and the whole car was sort of in a, in a mist. It was just, it was really dangerous actually to drive. I was just, I couldn't keep my eyes open. So tired and so, and so we pulled uh, you know, we, we parked the car and they had given us necklaces, uh, sort of as a, as a token of gratitude. And so the yogi said, we got to get rid of these necklaces. So we turned down the windows, we threw the necklaces out of the window and the, the mist started lifting. And I was reminded that when people, uh, use black magic, that they often have a, a certain, you know, maybe a fingernail or a hair or something that belongs to that person, which the spell, which, which contains the spell, so to say. And so if you get rid of that, then the spell is sort of broken. And I'm sure in this case that the people at the spa didn't intentionally want to give us these necklaces to put a spell on us, but it really did help to get rid of that. And a friend of mine, he clears houses in an energetic way. And he often has the same thing when people feel really bad in their houses. Often he sees that there are certain artifacts. For instance, they bought a, a death mask in Egypt, you know, because it looked nice. Or they have, a, a, I don't know, maybe a rod or something that they bought in Africa, which, you know, looks nice. But oftentimes it contains a lot of information. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I, I just wanted to share that with, with you because maybe you have artifacts like that in your house uh, or maybe you've noticed that sometimes you get used like a lightning rod. And for me, the best way to get rid of excess energy or whatever it is that you are, you know, that is being projected on you is to earth so what I usually do is I take off my shoes and with bare feet I stand on the ground, maybe put my hands on the ground and within, you know, seconds um, the energy is gone and you're good to go again. So I just wanted to share that with you. Maybe it resonates with you and maybe uh, this practical advice can help you in your life.